Welcome to Art and Leisure. This is a 30 minute program that tells about the goings on in the arts, culture, tourism, and leisure worlds. Today is a Fala special. A Fala is a yearly festival of only child people of Anambra State. It's colorful, entertaining, and cultural. There's also an exhibition part of it. I think we should talk about the art exhibition first. Yes, let's do that. It's called a race exhibition. A race simply means the king's crowd. My name is Chioma Akwara. Once again, welcome to Art and Leisure. 150 works are on display here. This is the fourth edition of a race exhibition. It holds in Onicha every year at the instance of His Royal Majesty Igwe Nemeka Alfred Gochuku Achebe. The be of furniture. This year's Oreza show is opening five days before the Ofala. Now we've started having influx of people coming in from all over the world, you know, both on the indigent and the friends of furniture and friends of the king of furniture. It gives this high profile to the Ofala festival. There's this feel about, you know, I have to go to the Ofala festival, not just to watch the king and the, uh, the chiefs and all of that, but also to see an artist's vision where everybody not just Igbo artists or nigerian artists but almost artists from all over the world are also coming together to be part of this great cultural festival artists of different ages and backgrounds are showcasing works done in different media the title of this job is uh, return of descent you see this uh, is about uh, personal experience i was sick Sometime in March, and I went into coma for five days. So what I saw is what I transferred to canvas. If you watch here, you can see that uh, this is a floral area. The first place I was taken to was three flower orchards. They, I was told it was a paradise, very serene, very peaceful environment. The next places I was taken to were people that are alive stage. I was kept like a king. Only me will sit down, the rest of them will stand up. Some snoring, sleeping. Then we went into a ship, the sailing ship, that has a very wonderful technology in it. It does not have a, a force of gravity, so you dare not fall. Rather, you'll be floating like a person in the moon. You can see the sign of floating here. This is where they displayed a lot of uh, spiritual books, which I refuse to take, because I refuse to descend from that place I was kept as my spiritual height. The job is now trying to say that man does not die, rather he transits. This painting is titled City Girls. Actually, I'm actually interested in um, the way and lifestyle of the uh, our ladies these days. They like to wear skimpy dresses. They like occasions very well. Then they play more on um, social media, whereby they show themselves. They are more of socialized. Actually, I'm particular more on the style at which I'm using this work, which I call a tactile use of acrylic in simulation with uh, ties, which we use on um, mosaic. This work is entitled The Royal Banquet. I particularly worked on wood and trunks, and usually during my works is the wood that gives me the ideas of what I do. Most of the inspirations is gotten from nature. Motifs applied on wood, I got them from the environment. And of course, the work tells a story of the African traditional heritage, whereby the kings usually sit with, their, with his members of his, of his cabinets on thrones and discuss the affairs of the community on their chairs. The title of this work is Ogalaya. Ogalaya, talking about God and his infiniteness and everything, how he takes care of us without our doing we are doing just nothing, but he takes care of us. This work is fatherly blessing. When a lady is born, one day he needs to go out from the house, that is, get married. And while that is being done, he say he needs a blessing from the father. This job is a photograph, a mosaic. The work is titled uh, Ogolo and Emengene. It's a mixed media with fabric collage and uh, acrylic pigments, markers, and uh, some textures over there, which is not fabric. 
what is the painting talking about? You can see uh, a stylized abstract figure with the Ogolo head gear and a female uh, figure, you know, and there's a hand, though it's broken into geometrical shapes, holding a lady, and the lady is holding a flower. And I titled it Ogolo and uh, uh, Emengini. Ogolo, which I'm using as a symbol of a man who is in love. Emengini, traditional uh, on a child, I don't name, of a girl who's also in love with this particular man. Professor Chike Anyako, a professor of fine art at Cross River University of Technology, who declared the exhibition open, spoke on the innovativeness of the artists. They are very daring in their use of media, highly exploratory in their themes. They are concerned with social conditions in Nigeria and react to it. Some find, uh, you know, uh, support in the historical experiences of the past. Others celebrate treasures of Nigeria. And I see them as uh, people, innovators in that sense, because they are daring. Ore's exhibition has become part of the Fala Festival and the creative community is happy. I think it's connecting tradition and modernity. It's thinking as institutions, institutions of royalty should stay in place, but can also interconnect new developments and transformations in modernity. And to that extent, it's an innovation itself. Yes, very, very innovative. Titled men, women, and other art enthusiasts made our time to see the exhibition. Many of us, uh, initial indigenous, have now become interested in artworks which here at all, people will just look at it and uh, look the other way. Beautiful, lovely works of art. In fact, I'm interested in a particular one. It has really fired my imagination. And um, I'm getting more and more interested in visual art. To be honest, uh, what I'm seeing on display uh, conjure a different picture from what we've been seeing in the other uh, oreses. His Royal Majesty, Igwen Nemeka Achebe, fondly called Amogidi, is a great collector of artworks. He's all smiles while going round to see the art pieces. The quality of work is, is just um, it's unbelievable. From the more established artists like uh, Ben Osahai here and, uh, and Dominic Zingbe over there, to the younger artists who are also doing, you know, uh, very exciting work. Um, Raji, Raji is there, I've collected a lot of Raji's works. And um, so all in all, um, it's very encouraging and uh, it gives hope for, for the future. In two years time, this Ores exhibition will take place in a new museum. We'll make it an art, uh, art carnival, an art festival that will run for about a week, outdoors, indoors, exhibition, and so on. Obi of Furniture's commitment to the promotion of visual arts in the country is unparalleled. My own collection of artwork is being bequeathed to, to Chimedi Museum, about uh, how many now? About uh, going 1,500 pieces of works, all of them will go to Chimedi Museum. And besides my own collection of artwork, Chimedi Museum will also be the repository for all my royal paraphernalia. And it will be like a museum, you know, for uh, the history of my monarchy, uh, my outfits, the books, sound recordings, and uh, video recordings, and uh, still photographs. There will be a library for all of these. Art collection is a good investment. We know that people bought shares in Nigeria, which I also bought. And uh, when shares crashed, we lost our money. We also know that people have done business and when the price of dollar changed, they lost their money. But we also know that people have bought artworks for 150,000, 200,000, 300,000, like the Benin one that was sold for uh, 100, an equivalent of 105 million naira. When you look at these things, you find out that it's only in art that you can invest. And after a while, you take it back to the market and you probably reap a hundred folds, not just uh, some few percentage. So I will advise Nigerians that have money to invest in art. Good to have you back. Yes, we encourage you to start collecting artworks. Any day you decide to sell, you see a buyer. Yes, I can assure you of that. <laughs> well done to our artists. All right, 
Now to the Ofala. This is the 15th edition since His Royal Majesty Igwe Nemeka Alfred Gochiku Achebe became the Obi of Nature. The Ofala Festival gives him the opportunity to come out and greet Onicha the people. Take a look. Onicha indigenous and visitors are here for the annual Ofala Festival. The cheer are the red cap chiefs in Onicha. They dance in one after the other, from the least to the highest in rank. The hierarchy of uh, Ndiche, the highest Ndiche is Ono, followed by um, Ajie Okadiogu, followed by Odu, then Onya Ogene, then Owele. Under these uh, Red Cap Chiefs, you have three distinct groups, that is Ono, Ajie Okadiogu, Odu, and all others Ndiche fall under these three groups. Like under under Ono now we have I have about seven other uh, Ndiche under me. Ajie has another seven. Odu has about six. So altogether you have about twenty-three of us. A red cap chief comes in with a large entourage but gets to a point where only two men are allowed to stay with him. These two belong to a group of titled men known as Abalanze. Their prerequisites before you become a member. An Onitra indigenous, a full fledged Onitra indigenous, who has achieved, who is fulfilled. It is not for every woman. Onitra women who have excelled in life are inducted into the prestigious Otuado Society. At present, there are 423 members. Basically, because um, Utuado is uh, the third in the hierarchy of leadership in our nature, you know, we, we are very strict about who comes in. You have to be a woman of influence and affluence, a woman of integrity, a role model, people in somebody, you know, whose life is worthy of uh, emulation. Some of the things that qualify you to be a member. And then if you're a married woman, because your husband has to write a reference letter on your behalf, attesting to your goodness as a wife, how useful you are in the family, and uh, how you have been a good wife and a good mother to your children. If you are not married, because it's not limited to only married women, somebody must attest to your character and person. Could be the dear power of your family, and then you must have two referees, two Utuado member referees, who also vouch for your person and character. Every year, they come for Fala Festival. It's a yearly event. Every Anitra woman will come and enjoy with our king. The prestigious society of Utuado are always present in everything we do. These are Diopas, the their heads of individual families in our nature. Professionals and other groups are also here for the 15th edition of Ofalo Nature during the reign of Igwa Chebe. We are usually recognized in a big way during Ofalo and we make our input in you know, effect. We normally carry our project during this Ofalo. We are having a sort of workshop or symposium. You know, uh, creating awareness you know, among people you know, who are not even uh, on the indigenous, but who come to see what goes on. After the 23 Ndi chairs have danced in, His Royal Majesty Iwen Nemeka Achebe, the Bureau of Furniture, comes in amidst pomp and pageantry. <laughs>
he goes in to sit on his throne. Other Ryu fathers have come from different parts of the country to watch Dobi and Indiche dance. My impression is that uh, the Afala uh, gives the uh, citizenry the opportunity to reverence their, their monarch. It is also um, a kind of balm that, that, that brings the people together. Because I've been watching what's going on there, the uh, dress worn by the men and the women, and uh, things I've observed in there. So it's a festival of culture which makes me proud of the Nigerian as a new man. So we're here to felicitate with the Obi and his people in the festival of Ofala. Igwe goes out to the arena again. He gives a speech where he talks about the progress the land has made in the last one year. We are proud to the, uh, His Excellency, Mr. President, of the courage he has shown to tackle corruption, to tackle uh, uh, armed uprising, to tackle violence, to encourage him to go ahead and do the best for the country, and the discipline he's bringing to, to, uh, to public life. Also asking to look particularly into the issue of the of the cattle herdsmen who have been uh, harassing people everywhere in the country. In the north, they are harassing people. In the south, particularly, they are harassing people. Many people in the state have come to the land of all the all of the land of all 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 the land has continued to be that man who has taken and with vision, in the face of severe economic constraints. In the area of youth development, we made unprecedented progress. This year marked the 10th anniversary, 10th anniversary of the Long Vacation Tutorial Program, with a record of over 3,700 school students participating under the care of some 80,000 university students. It's my own personal contribution. I will raise all the money and all my art collection, about 1,500, 1,500 art collection will reside there. All my real paraphernalia, everything will go into that museum. Past and present governors of Anambra State also came. When I was growing up, where we are living is not very far from here, at the South Street. So for sure, Fala, I'm not going to teach school like I can. I need to do like I want to do. Okay. So I still remember those uh, old days. And uh, it has happened in many of the very majestic uh, by our own uh, ability. We have employed all ALL, APTA, all the uh, of Falon nature attracted ambassadors and other people from the international community. I'm very, very impressed. Uh, I'm looking forward to the enrollment of the festival. Uh, as I said, it's my first time, but it seems very well organized. Very, very important. I think it brings people together and it gives more credence to the traditional rulership in Nigeria. This cultural event has been practiced for about 300 years. This is actually a showpiece and this should act as a catalyst for most traditional societies to be able to promote the rich cultural history of Ibo land 
It's so colorful, it's really wonderful, and you can see the community is united, the people are very joyful, there are many cultural displays, and the Apala uh, usually acts as a great opportunity for people to show that sense of harmony in their community. We are happy that our culture is being celebrated today, and you can see the real throng of children, of women, and the traditional chiefs, the abalances, the women, all of them in their royal beads. We have very rich culture. You know, and we are very proud of our culture. So of course, I always come to the Ophala because it's, it's, it's a great opportunity for us um, to see a lot of people and of course to show our appreciation to the Obi of Onisha, you know, for all the good things he's doing in Onisha. So that, this is a very uh, happy time for us. There is nothing uh, the Western world we do to eliminate our culture and tradition because it's natural and real. Igwa Chebe goes out to the arena the third time. He lives with all the ditches and that signals the end of a fala. <laughs> The next day, a Zofala takes place. On this day, different age grades come to greet their king. The way we dance, uh, our popularity in, in, the, in the town makes us unique in the town. The way we perform and the way we comport ourselves, at least as you can see, when we were performing, so many people were applauding us. We formed the age grade from onset. And that is why we are. Are you both age grade? Because we are the same people uh, and one people. But the men and women, we are both 60 years. We are born in the return of the officers of the Second World War. That's why we are called officer, age grade of Onisha. Uh, we have achieved so many things in Onisha. We mounted a gate at the back of that immobile. In agriculture, we are number one. They are our age grade. We are too much. We are too much. We are very unique. In anything. The Obi gives his people good reports about the last one year. Despite the downturn, on each other people are grateful to God for his faithfulness. Welcome back. Ofala special is what we called today's episode. I hope you enjoyed our offering. Please visit www.chomokpara.com to watch more episodes. My crew and I will be back with something fresh for you, same time, same station, next week. God will keep and be with us all the time. My name is Chioma Okpara. Love yourself. Love Nigeria.